Hello, everybody. It's me, Sai, and I'm taking a little break from my Plan With Me videos to do a, sort of a more general Crafting With Sai video. So uh, let's get started. Today's topic is wax seals. Now, if those are, for those of you who don't sit on, on social media every day like I do, you probably, maybe you haven't seen, but um, wax seals are making a bit of a resurgence um, in popularity. Um, I used to have a wax seal kit back, back, back in the day. I'm talking maybe 25 years ago. Um, I used it once, I think, but now it's just got all that more interesting. Um, I responded to an Instagram ad that I saw, and that's that's where I was exposed to this sort of resurgence in the use of wax seals. Um, for those of you who don't know what they are, a wax seal was the old way um, that someone would seal correspondence to be sent with a messenger. Um, and the wax seal, basically, if you opened the envelope, the wax seal would be broken and the person who received it would know that it had been tampered with on the way. Um, also, the seal itself was probably a good way to, to authenticate who exactly was writing to you because they would have their own special seal. Um, I have three. Um, when I ordered mine, I, made, I ordered three. And this one is the most intricate one that I've seen and um, a little bit creepy. This is um, a magic circle. And the first time I tried to record this video, the second I put this magic circle on the camera, my whole computer shut down. Coincidence? Maybe, maybe not. Um, I also decided to buy um, a very fancy letter P because my last name begins with P and that is the family seal. And because my favorite bird is the peacock because of its lovely colorful tail, I decided to get a peacock. So here we go. We're going to play with fire today, okay? And uh, because we have to melt the wax. Um, we have to melt the wax. We have to pour it over our little envelope here. And we have to then press the seal into the hot wax. The fire I am using, an Irish wishing candle. So today I wish that my camera equipment and indeed my entire craft room does not burn down in the process. We are going to melt some wax. Now, I thought this was really interesting. Uh, the sealing wax I used to get was in these little sticks and I'm not sure, I don't remember if there was actually a wick in the stick so you could just light it, melt it, drip it where you needed to drip it and then that was it. But we're doing it a more interesting way now with these lovely sealing wax um, chunks, I guess would be a, an indelicate way to put it. Um, but this particular bottle is a mix and I thought, yeah, that's gonna be great. So I don't know how many I need. So I'm just gonna take maybe, I don't know, yeah. I'm gonna take uh, a purple one and a white one and like a green one. And we'll see what happens with those three when I put them under the fire. I wanted to make sure that my wax seals will go on the envelope and not bleed through onto the letter underneath. So I've got a dummy letter here that I've written to absolutely no one. And I'm going to seal the envelope shut and then I'm gonna wait a while and then I'm gonna open it and just see whether or not it has indeed bled onto the letter and how badly. We have a flame. Oh, I'm gonna give it a minute and I'm going to continue to wish for no burning down of the room. So I've got my three colors of wax in my little cup and I'm going to hold the cup over the flame. I don't know how long this is going to take. Um, when you buy a sealing wax kit, you can, um, you get like, you can get something called a furnace with it. 
and that will allow you to sort of have a place to sort of rest the handle of the little wax cup on while your wax melts. I have no such device. So I've just got to sit here and hold it and uh, meditate upon it or something. La, 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 la. It is melting. Um, you probably can't see it, but I can't put the candle directly under the camera. So you're just going to have to deal for the moment. Da, 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 da. I don't even know if you can see, like, what's happening here, but, uh, oh, it's very nearly melted. Now I've got three different colors of wax here, and I want to do something. Um, I don't want the waxes to melt together too much. Um, I don't want them to get, like, mixed and muddled. I kind of want a streaky effect, almost. And on the advertisement, I saw them kind of swirl it. So, okay, here's my melted wax. Nice, eh? And I'm going to sort of pour and swirl this wax like here, and I'm going to stick my wax seal on top of it. Now, I'm just letting the weight of the actual wax seal do its job, and I don't know whether that's the right thing to do. I'm going to press it just a little bit now and lift it. Ooh. Ooh, it's very nice. It stinks, but it's very nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you see the bottom of my, of my spoon, it is now blackened. Um, that's probably where the smell's coming from. <laughs> okay, so to start with, let's have a little look at the wax seal. Now you can barely, you can just about see the letter P, right? But these days they are selling right along with the wax seals, they are selling metallic pens. So I am just gonna test the metallic pen real quick, make sure it's working, it is. And then what you do is you pick out the raised details with the pen. Now, I'm not sure if this is the kind of pen that you should be using in the presence of a naked flame. So that may itself be an issue, but I don't know. Okay, so I've colored it, and there it is. Um, a golden, <laughs> golden pea. <laughs> Yeah, I knew things would get awkward up in here. Okay, I am just going to see, because it's quite a fine flourish. I'm not really catching the bottom of the pea in the camera view here. Let's see. But isn't that lovely? And the because I didn't stir it, and I just kind of poured it out and let it flow the way it did, it sort of made this sort of marbleized effect, which I quite like. Um, I think maybe the white lines might be a bit harsh, though. Not sure. But, uh, so that's the, uh, and it is, it's actually cool to the touch now, which is great. So I guess what is next, but to move on, um, I might try another mix of colors. So before I do that, um, this is just a piece of wax kind of sticker paper. So, um, actually, I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that for another thing. I'm going to use this. I'm going to heat the wax that's left over in here. And I'm going to pour it back out. I should have brought a uh, paper towel or something maybe to wipe the wax out with. But this is, this is not safe to do, by the way. <laughs> um, be careful always when you are working with anything that includes fire. Okay. Um, oh, the smell of the melted wax is like very interesting indeed. It, you know what it reminds me of? I, I took a class over the summer when I was a kid and I learned how to build a radio from scratch. 
and it smells like solder in here now. It might be the reaction of the flame on the metal of the uh, spoon, perhaps. Right, let's try a couple of different colors. Let's see, what have we got here? I think I'd like to do maybe a darker thing, maybe a purple and black. Maybe I'll just get two purples because I know how black can really get in there and interfere. Maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll go purple and a little bit of blue. That looks nice. Okay, I'm going to take the white out of the equation, take the black out of the equation. I'm just going to use purple and blue. And I'm going to use a different stamp this time. I'm going to use the peacocks. Um, one of the things that I want to do is mark where the top of the stamp is. Um, because I didn't like it when I wasn't sure which way up it was going. So I've just found sort of the top, the top part of the stamp and I've just marked it with one of these metallic markers. I don't know if it's going to stay, but I'm going to let it dry. And I'm going to heat up my new bits of wax. This is quite a hot candle. Um, I've got a tea. I've got tea lights, which will probably be a lot better in future. But for the moment, this was all I had to hand. So I'm probably burning this more than I need to. <sighs> but I like that. That looks really cool. Pretty, pretty, lovely. Still melting. We haven't burned down the craft room yet. This is a good thing. Yeah. But that has definitely sealed the envelope quite nicely. Yeah, there's gaps, but it looks nice. I like it the way it is. Nearly done melting. Something you might not be catching on the camera is that um, some of these colors are quite pearlescent and um, there is kind of a shimmer to them. I really like it. Um, right. We're nearly melted. Sorry it's off camera, but I really just don't want to set anything else ablaze. Okay, right. So here's our melt and here it is being poured out like this. And then I'm going to go in with my peacocks. Now that slid under the envelope. Did you see that? It slid under the flap. <laughs> I'm going to have to remember to hold it down. <laughs> this is not what I planned. Okay. Let's give it a little press anyway, and then we'll lift it. Oh, he's lovely. Okay, so here are my peacocks um, that are sort of unenhanced, as it were. I'm going to enhance the peacocks with the green metallic pen. Just picking up these raised areas looks nicely like so oh aren't they lovely okay so that is the green metallic with the peacock stamp looking pretty great and it's just blue and purple this was e equal parts blue purple and white so let's go, let's go green, I think this time. Do a little, 
little green and blue. Do a little green and blue. Uh, two parts green, one part blue, I think. So that is what we are doing. Two parts green, one part blue. I'm going to close that up and I'm going to be using my most detailed stamp. This one's, uh, I think this one's called Magic Circle or something. And I don't know which way is the right way up, so I'm not going to mark this stamp with, uh, with a pen quite yet. Let's melt. Whoops. <laughs> Let's melt. I'm betting you can kind of see a little bit what's going on. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can. You can just watch it in the bottom of your screen there. I'm sure it won't burn the camera from way down here. Whoa. Fire. <laughs> I feel like Beavis and Butthead. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> well, because I don't know which way's up and which way's down, I'm just going to put this bit towards me so that I can, I can feel it when the melting has stopped. Still not quite melted. Nearly, but not quite. I can just still see the definition of the top of the wax. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, that is nice. Oh, likey. Okay. Let's pop that one on. Like so. And because I know I'm done with the wax, I'm just going to blow a candle out. There we go. Ooh. Just that'll be enough fire for today. I'm just gonna press it before lifting. Oh, Ooh, it's so nice. Okay. This might be my favorite combo so far. I really like that. I'm not really surprised though. Um, I'm going to, it's, it's not really a contrasting color, but I'm gonna work with my blue metallic pen because I haven't done it yet. So. It might not, it might not give as much of a boost. There we go. It might not give as much of a boost to the design as the other pens. Um, just because there's already a lot of blue in there. So. No, it really doesn't. I do like it though. Right. Let's have a look. Now, what do you think? I think it's not, I'm gonna put another color on top of that. Because the detail has come out in the actual wax. It looks fantastic. Um, but I am going to use the gold. I'm just gonna see if I can get more peekaboo, more detail to peek out. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I'm just gonna scribble on paper because it's, it's it's contaminated it now, so it's all green. Okay, hopefully that's better, slightly better. It is really nice though. I really do like it. Fantastic. So here are the three seals. Whoops, let's turn it that way up. <laughs> that looks better. All right, so here's the three seals. I really do like the marbling effect with the white. It is nice. That is quite cool. Maybe I will use that. Thinking out loud, because I've got Christmas cards to send, I'm, I'm not sure I'll be wax sealing much of anything to go internationally because it'll add that much more weight to it. I'm afraid that maybe it'll be too heavy after I've done it. I don't know. 
we'll see. But uh, yeah, that's that is my first play with my wax seals. Wow. And I gotta say, I'm impressed. I really do love it. It's gonna take some cleanup though, because look at the soot on the back. There's so much of it. But uh, I'm sure a paper towel will deal with that just nicely. Um, and hopefully same goes for the, um, the leftover swirly wax in the bottom, which looks kind of cool. Anyway, um, so that, that's the product used. Now, um, I'm going to put my wax seals away and they each came with their own handle and they each came in this cute little velvety drawstring bag, which is a nice little touch. Not sure it's terribly necessary, but it's, it's nice. And I'm gonna put the seal up in the packet so that I don't have to take the whole thing out to see which is which. Isn't that sweet? I love it. It's brilliant. Right. My recording's been a bit um, strange today, to say the least. Now, for the pièce de résistance, let's open this thing up. I have to break my pretty seals already. Just to see if there's any damage. Oh, oh, I'm not, I don't want to break it. <laughs> I should have just opened it like the other way, shouldn't I? Now, the paper is not stuck. And there's been no bleeding onto my letter to no one. So, it's all good. Um, they've obviously done their work, uh, their uh, research, and made sure that it wasn't just any old wax that it would indeed not go through, which is nice. So, that's the research done, uh, and uh, I think it's a go. I think I'm going to use this quite often, so that's kind of exciting. I do need, you know, the occasional new reason to play with fire. It looks good. It's all good, and... Uh, now that I have a new reason to play with fire, I'll be getting these out more often. I really love it. Um, please be careful with open flames and, uh, you know, make sure you extinguish that flame before you walk away from your desk and all should be fine. Only you can prevent forest fires or whatever. So I guess that's it. That's it for me. I've been Sai, and this has been Crafting with Sai for Unravel and Unwind. And if you like this and you want to be the first to see the new videos, then please consider subscribing to our Patreon. It's um, patreon.com slash unravel and unwind. And uh, it starts at a mere three pounds a month. And you get loads for that, especially now while we're on lockdown. So if you like what we do and you can spare it, then we would really appreciate your support. And thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.